Well, hey there, BrewTube. DJ's here, back at you with yet another DJ's BrewTube beer review. Well, you can tell I'm a little chill. I'm maxing and relaxing tonight. That's right. Well, I'm I'm still hyperspastic, but I'm chilling. Why? Because it's the end of the night, and I decided, you know what? End of the night, I need a big ass beer. And what big ass beer do I have? I got a beer from Dark Horse Brewing Company out of Marshall, Michigan, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And I've got their Double Crooked Tree. Now, this is a DIPA. It's a spring serving. And it clocks in at 12% ABV and 98 IBUs. Now, you're saying, DJ, where the hell did you get Dark Horse? I don't distribute Dark Horse in Maryland. Well, I got it from none other than the Johnny G over at Crafty Beer Reviews. If you have not checked out Crafty Beer Reviews and Johnny's channel, what is up with you? Get with the program. Get on Johnny's channel. Sub up. Watch his reviews and listen for his awesome music recommendations at the end of his reviews. You will like that. I think, yes, of course you will. So, now, enough about that. And what about the beer? Well, like I said, this is a 12 percenter. It's clocking in big and burly with a high alcohol by volume and 98 IBUs. And to me, that sounded more like a American barley wine, maybe a hopped up barley wine, than a DIPA. I don't know. Some of these tend to be boozy. I've never had this one. They're even saying on here that you can sell it. So that's all saying D-I-P-A to me. So this one's super fresh. It's just over two weeks old when I'm reviewing it. Why? Because they're putting on the, the um, dates on the necks of their bottles now. Got to like that. Dark Horse never did that before. They listened to us, beer geeks. <laughs> Got to like that shit. So let's top to pop the top on this bad boy. Can't even talk tonight. I need a beer. Get it in the glass and tell you what's up with Double Crooked Tree. Ooh, nice hiss off this one. Ooh, tons of smoke. I hope it doesn't crawl up on the neck with me. Let's see here. Yeah. All right. Pouring out murky. Yes. We got a murky, cloudy brew. Ha ha here. All righty. Got it in the glass. Okay. Appearance wise, it's a murky, dark amber virgin on river water brown. We got a solid, almost two fingers virgin on, yeah, pretty much two finger head. Of really pretty tight bubbles, a little soap sudsy on the crown of it, but around the sides are really tight, microscopic sort of khaki off-white bubbles. But that's a cloudy, murky kind of like caramel burnt orange looking beer. It's hard to tell, I probably on the camera, but I want when I'm looking at the light, ain't no light coming through that uber cloudy on this bad boy. Let's get a nose on it and see what's up in that department. Wow, big pine, citrus, bit of sweet malt. Caramel. I'm actually getting a little more like citrus rind than I am pine. It's There's no alcohol aroma to it, which I'm surprised. I was, I was wondering if there would be any booze to it. And there's a bit of like sweet bready malt in the background. So we're getting pine, then big citrus zest, caramel, and then sweet bready malt. Man, it smells pretty damn nice. Let's get a taste of this because I'm ready for this brew. Cheers. Wow, that's big. Wow. Up front, you're hit with pine. Then after that, you get a big citrus zest blast. Then after that, I'm getting caramel malt and a ton of like almost candy sugar sweetness to this. There's no booze in the aroma, but I'm getting plenty of alcohol warm going down in my chest. Pretty smooth drinking beer for what it is. Lots of taste of this. It really does taste a lot like an American barley wine. It's got a lot of sweetness. And tasting this beer, I would imagine if you cellar this once the hops die down, it would be almost like English barley wine tasting. The back finish isn't of citrus or pine, but it's a big caramel and really sweet candy. It's nice. It's not like cloyingly sweet because those hops are in there and it's kind of balancing that out in your mouth when you taste it. But the thing that surprised me most is that this isn't boozy. This is a pretty good warm temperature. I left it out for a while. We're probably like 48, 50 degrees on this now. Really goes down smooth for what it is. It's got a full medium mouthfeel. Pretty coating when you drink it. And all in all, man, that's a quality beer. I'm surprised. I've had another one like this. From, it's a triple IPA, they call it, from Fegley's. And I believe that one, it was, a, it was a Pennsylvania brewer. And I believe that one clocked in at like 11% ABV. And that one drank a lot more boozy than this beer does. I'm really impressed by this. And I would imagine if you cellared this, yeah, the hops would drop down, but the booze would be even more mass than it is. Because you can taste a little, little tiny bit of it as I take more sips on it. But this is a dangerous beer, and you could drink this pretty quick for what it is. If you had a four-pack of this, you, your ass would be cronked, no doubt. So, we got to give a grade to this. 
What do the other guys think first? Rape Beer gives it a 99. Hmm, a little too high. That's A plus range. And Beer Advocates give it a 93, which is almost eh, pretty much just into that A range. I think I'm going to give it a 94. I'm going to give it an A. This is a tasty beer. It's well put together. The alcohol being a 12%, it's really masked. I don't know if the title of DIPA is exactly right. I think this drinks more to me like a hopped up American barley wine, but it's still a damn good beer. I would drink it again. I'd love to see how one sellers. Um, and, you know, as I sit here and talk, I can almost get a bit of dankness in my mouth. So this is a really cool beer fresh, and I'd love to see how this would sell or what it would taste like after, say, if you put a year or so on it. And uh, those hops would totally die down, and it would be all background malt and everything. So if you guys have had this, let me know what you think. That's really cool. I love the quid pro quo. And I also love it when you think globally and drink locally and you support the craft beer movement. And you help this thing keep growing and we get more and more variety and we get more, maybe we'll get a triple cro crooked tree next. God, who knows how many ABV that biatch would be. So, till the next time guys, thanks a million for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you're not also already subscribed and hit that like button because we like you that, don't we? It gives me my happy face. So, till the next time, I got nothing but a bunch of love for you and a big ass what? Oh, hell yeah, that's right. A big ass pizza.